Hello folks and welcome to another video on the channel. This one is a bit of a tech demo and for me to explain in practice what dynamic favorited rendering eye tracking can mean uh, for the future of VR. Now it's a bit freaky admittedly I know <laughs> so try not to look at it too much but in the top right hand corner they are my actual eyes right now in VR and as I'm looking around it is tracking exactly where I'm looking. It's pretty amazing inside the headset of course so at the moment I'm looking at A380 Taxian that's a QT9746 Taxian there very nice and then we're going to look here at that one that's just taken off and it's so incredibly precise um and this is a great showcase of how dynamic favorited rendering can really make a huge difference to performance at the moment with the open xr toolkit in microsoft flight simulator and it's pretty damn cool let's, let's be honest it's only just been released you're getting a nice performance uh, benefit because basically the fixed favorited rendering means that the image that you're looking at in your headset is only going to be rendered sharp where you can see it. The trouble is though, unless you don't, you know, if you don't have eye tracking, that image is going to have to still be about the same as your field of view, which is still a large area for your graphics card to render. Now, here's the thing with dynamic favorited rendering, that little dot in the center, that's all that's needed to be rendered in high quality the rest of that display where i'm not really looking can gradually get less and less but you could offset the cost of a brand new gpu a 3090 or 3080 ti if this works as intended because you're not going to need so much processing power now i can't say for certain until i've tried it out with the open xr toolkit because what i'm doing right now is the native sort of eye tracking within vario you know the vario based software itself but look at this i'm looking at all the gates you can look at the weather radar there and it's incredibly like um accurate to my eyes i mean it's amazing the technology the way it's moving forward right now it's just quite freaky knowing that wherever i look it gets it right every time and that's with the new distortion profile as well and vario did say that the eye tracking isn't quite so um what's the word uh sensitive i guess with this new distortion profile well i'm pleased to say it's working perfectly here see there's the helicopter there i can look at this dashboard here look at the labels i'm not doing anything guys i've got no controllers look i'm just showing you there on the left hand side of the screen i'm doing all this with my eyes that is just pretty mind-blowing to say the least the thing is even in real life your retina of your eye in the center can only see a very small sort of area that is pin sharp. That's in real life. And you won't notice that because your eye moves so quickly. Look, I'm really moving my eyes fast now at the uh, A380 there, one taxi in. There's one coming in to land over there and it's, it's tracking it perfectly. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works in practice in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But I thought this is a great way of showing this technology in action. Pretty damn cool, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little video today. And sorry if it's freaked you out with my eyes being in the right corner, but it just goes to show you where VR is going. Take care, folks, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.